Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jay Gerardin and I'm a found sound composer here on YouTube. Recently I reached out to my fellow Irish found sound composer, Hugh, aka 93 Acres, and we decided that we would set each other a sample challenge. Hugh sent me a sample reel of his ladder, and I remixed that and turned it into this. So if you wanna check that whole video out, it's on my YouTube channel. You might leave a link in the description. Please. That was a pretty challenging one. So I've got something equally as challenging for you, Hugh. Let me just get it. So this is my coffee press. Anybody who knows me knows that I cannot function in the morning without my coffee, and this is where I get it. So I'm gonna take this thing apart. I'm gonna break it up into all its individual bits, sample it, and send that sample reel onto Hugh, and he will turn it into something amazing, I'm sure. One eternity later. Yeah, I'm just back from sampling that, and those samples look and sound like this. So yeah, really looking forward to seeing what you do with it, Hugh. Uh, I'm gonna let you do your thing. My name's JJ Reardon, like I said, and if you wanna check out my channel, We'll leave links in each other's descriptions, and yeah, check us out if you haven't seen or heard of us already. See you later. Bye. Thank you, JJ, for that fantastic intro. All right, coffee sounds, and I've got a coffee to go. Put a lot of work into this. If you haven't seen JJ's video, please check it out. I'll leave the link below. Let's get into it. Let's listen to all the sounds at once. Very nice. So these sounds were all recorded by JJ, as I'm sure you've understood by now. I've named them as instruments that they kind of sound like, just so I can arrange them in my brain and have some sort of like understanding what they are. Because if I name them what they sound like in real terms, like as in a French press cap, I might just lose the plot. So we've got a kick, which is really important. We've got some snare sounds. Nice. We've got a rim sound. And my favorite, I love this click a lot. Like, I'm tempted to use that in other tracks. If I can get the royalties cleared, JJ. What's your percentage in royalties? That's what I want to know. Sweet, that's a nice click. We've got some toms. Beautiful. And we've got that hi-hat, and I love this shaker. Cool, so those are our main sounds. So the rhythm I'm kind of thinking today is if you watch any of the last few videos, the BTS track or the Blanks track, you'll have seen there's been a re reoccurring beat, which is basically a four to the floor with a kick, snares and claps on our two and a four. We've got an open hi-hat that comes on the and of four. And then you have a hi-hat that's kind of doing this thing, usually like just a 16 or eight beat, maybe like a t -t -t -t. So I'm gonna throw that out really quickly. So let's get our four to the floor with the kick first. Let's start on, <laughs> I was gonna start on bar 93, but it's so far away. I should have picked a better number, but that's how many acres the farm was. So that's, that's what we're stuck with. Yeah, I'm gonna drag the sample out. I'm gonna put it in time. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of mixing on the kick just to make it sound a bit more kick. And then we'll go on to the next sound. So we're gonna mix as we produce, which I would never recommend if you're like doing a proper song, but because we're only doing this in like an hour, hour and a half, ain't nobody got time for that. So let's get going. Let's get the sample nice and tidy. It's gonna be nice and free flow. No, nothing's gonna be perfectly on the beat but it should be okay okay so fade in and out at the end just so we're looking tidy four to the floor so one two three four and there's your four to the floor that's one bar nice okay so let's make that kick sound a little bit nicer so a few things we can do eq bring up some low that low some of that lovely low end with well, 100 is where we like a punchy kick Beautiful. The high end, there's not a lot of hiss or anything. It's been recorded fantastically. Thank you, JJ, once again. My God, what a man. What I'm going to do is just put some saturation on it, some beef, and we can also use some cheat codes like Data Life Sausage Fattener. Such a cheat code. There's some sweet slap back there. I'm liking it. Cool. So let's leave that kick there for the minute. We just got a bit of beef so it exists in the world. Snare and rim. Let's grab them together because we're going to throw them on the second and fourth beat. Cool. Let's try and get that Catronata thing going where we've claps and snare slightly early. Gives you that kind of drunk feel when we put the hi-hat and kick slightly late. Mostly hi-hats, don't worry about that kick. We'll mess around with that afterwards. So let's make them not hit at the same time so it fixes it out. It doesn't sound like it's the same sound hitting twice. Let's just do some, just a little bit different each time. Cool. So the snare sounds like this on its own. Cool. And then the rim sounds like this. Nice. So let's listen to those three together. Cool. So we're going to need some more beef. Let's do that same trick. Let's just tidy up some low end of the snare. When you're working with low end, I just careful with the lows. I want that kick to take its lows. Cool. Will we try a bit of sausage fattener? Might be a bit much. I don't want to throw it on everything. Just a little, a little drizzle. It does add a nice high end kind of percussive hit at the top. The rim. Let's not put sausage fattener in him. 
Yeah, I want him to have nice high end. Yeah, that rim shot. I nearly spilled off my coffee there. Let me drink a bit more. So if I spell it, it won't be that much. Speed it up. Ooh. Anyone who's watching on YouTube, watch Terry's here watching along live and he's giving suggestions. He's a Twitch streamer if you didn't know. So check him out. Oh, it's so tasty. I can't leave it away. And he is suggesting speeding up the rim shot. So let's go for it. How do we speed up things in Logic Pro X? Click flex pitch up here. We go to speed. Let's go for polyphonic. And then if you grab the top of the audio file, we're speeding it up a bit. Then we're making it move a little bit much. So let's say it. Now that's polyphonic, so it doesn't change pitch. Now if we go to speed, it will. Cool. So if we use a speed, we kind of get that pitch up a little bit. So it's more of a click as Watch Tara said. All right, so that's it sped up. Let's have a listen to that click on its own. Oh, tasty. Sausage fattener. Oh. When you bring the color up really high, it, it gives a lot of clarity. So many more highs. I'm liking it. Let's listen to it with the snare. Cool. I'm starting not to like the kick. I really like the slap back on it initially. And now I'm thinking, let's just shorten it a tiny bit. Now we're slapping. Yeah, we happy with that? Flex pitch is amazing. It's worth figuring out how to use it. And if you want any more information on it or help or questions, I'm here to help. I nearly knocked it over again. I should stop doing this. Okay, we could spend years editing this kick, but let's just leave like that, that for the minute and then we can mix all things together at the end. Hi-hat time. So we're going to go with the close hi-hat sound. You, you tell me, what does this sound like? Let's get this hi-hat sampled into an instrument. So what I'm gonna do is this hi-hat, I'm gonna make a software instrument. I'm gonna open up quick sampler. We're gonna drag in this audio sample. We're gonna mute the hi-hat. And let's play that in. Uh, let's get a count in actually, that will help a lot. I wanna quantize and then make them late. Hmm, nah, I'm not a fan of that. Let, let's let's make something a bit more interesting. Let's slow down. Let's change the BPM really quickly. I never even thought about the BPM. Let's just slow it down. Let's go for 100 and then we'll, we'll mess around with the BPM later. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see if I did get actually right. You know, one of those like lazy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's get rid of the downbeat one. I'll just grab all these actually. If we select all these and mute them, so you're kind of like on the downbeat, it's only the kick. Da -da -da. Oh, it's so close to being groovy and I'm just not, I don't know. I think it's the last beat I'm just missing a little bit. Is it just too... Oh, can I change the last one? I've changed my mind. I just, I'm just not vibing the last one. So let's just put a... Da -da -da. JJ! Everybody say hello to JJ. JJ is the man who's made these samples. And if you like music, you like JJ. I want to... Ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Let's try a little. Maybe just even a sesame tone. Slap at the drums. Do you know what I mean? We're gonna reverb everything out here. JJ, if you're if you're here for the next hour, man, giz giz all the tips. JJ, what kind of verb are we thinking? We've a nice little bus here, right? Are we thinking short little fellas? When I say nectar, you say sauce. Nectar, sauce. Nectar, sauce. And then as, wait, what have I missed out? I've missed my rim shot snare. Let's give a bit of, ooh, we're filling out this room right now. Ooh, I'm loving that slap. All right, I'm pretty happy with that groove. Oh, let's get our open eye hat on the and of four. We said we were going to do that earlier. I really like this shaker one, maybe. This zip stuff is so nice. That's really nice. Zip three. I like this zip fella. Let's see if we can boost him. I just want to put him on the end of four a little bit late. Let's go for a bit of this data life sausage fanner once more, but this is mostly, I'd actually just want to boost the volume here. Yep. Get the high end. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. And we got to throw some of that lovely room verb. Cool. I really want to put vocal samples in this like, shh, 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 shh. Once you sauce, you can't ever stop saucing. We need a cha, 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 cha. Yeah, a little something, something. Get our maracas in there. That's the mesh on the coffee strainer. Hmm. It's a bit long. So let's go back to our flex pitch and let's go to speed because I do want to pitch it up a tiny bit and we're just going to drag these a little bit shorter. I'm screenshotting that now. I wonder if I can use that anywhere in the video. Okay, we've got a shaker to the left, <laughs> shaker to the right, crisscross. Cool, we panned one shaker out to the right and one to the left so we can hear it kind of like this. All right, we're grooving. Okay, we're gonna need some melody, melodic stuff. Where are we getting our melody from? I'm thinking that gong. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's make some melody. Get gong one, we're gonna do again, same thing. Software instrument, quick sampler is in funky time. Don't you take me to fang it. 
We'll drag it in here. We've got an optimized, lovely, and now we've got an instrument. Let's solo this guy. Okay, let's get back into it. Where were we? <laughs> we were making software instruments. Let me duplicate this across a few times. Let's get some loops. Lovely. And one more time. Sure, we might as well go for the full four chords. We weren't brought up on pop for no reason. Yeah, nice simple pop chord progression. We're all we're all happy. Cool. Ah, I know what it is. Look at this, lads. Look at this. I'm a fool. If we look at the sample, we've got space here at the start. That's what's happening. Cheap work. How are you getting on, man? Do we have any offers today? That's what I want to know. Today just couldn't get any weirder, I thought. And then before you know it. <laughs> That sounded pretty cool for a second. Thank you. Salty Sundays. Happy Salty Sundays. Wow, I'm having too much fun, lads. Everybody now settle down, okay? Everybody back to their seats. <laughs> JJ, I know we're not allowed to use vocals, we'll just, we'll, we'll give them a clip. Leave them in. We'll have a PG version and we'll have a plus plus 45 rate. Saps. Stop now, right? How did it get to this? How, how, how? Some days you just need fine meats. Delicious stuff. Like the vegetarian lifestyle just isn't working out for you. That oat milk? Just not quite right. We need some protein products. Brought to you in a cheap and orderly fashion. Potentially from the comfort of your own. Cheap pork online. It's all about the time we get salty Sundays on mine. I don't know. Maybe I should just chop this up and that's the video. That could be like installment one. Come back for video two to see what we did in the next part. I don't know what's gonna happen. End video.